Welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope you're doing well out there today. Look what I have to show you. We have these two Major League Baseball grab bags that I picked up at the card show this past weekend. If you haven't checked out my channel, look at my most recent video. You'll see what I was able to grab at the card show. I feel like I did alright for myself. Had a lot of fun and met some really cool people there. Uh, I was able to pick up these two grab bags. I think the guy only charged me 50 cents each for them. So 100 cards for $1. That's obviously one penny a card. I'm not a math genius, but I feel like that's how it works out. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Did I get my money's worth of 100 cards for $1? Holy cow. Looks like we got some old school Bowman. Oh my. Jason Jennings. I remember him for the Rockies. This is... 2000 Bowman, it looks like. You can see way down there on the bottom. It's got the 1999 pitching record. Wow, this is interesting. Matt Belisle, he pitched in the majors for a while. Mario Encarnacion, don't remember him. Donzel McDonald, Julio Lugo, he had a decent career. Michael Kadire for the Twins, I know. Mike Vinifro, he was a bullpen pitcher. Don't know that guy. Vernon Wells, obviously played a long time with Toronto. D. Brown. Mike McDougal, first Bowman Chrome card, rookie card there for the Royals. He was like an all-star there for a while. He was their closer. Wilfredo Rodriguez, um, stuck to Ramon Santiago, Jesus Colome. Wow, he just was unloading Jason Marquis. <laughs> Kevin Witt, don't know if he's any relation to Bobby Witt. Doesn't look like it. He's from North Carolina. Luis Rivera, John Sneed, Tony McKnight, Kurt Schilling. There's a potential Hall of Famer, Kurt Schilling. Larry Walker, there is a Hall of Famer right there. Paul O'Neill. Now we're getting to some more well-known names. Barry Larkin's in the Hall of Fame. Todd Helton is um, possibly going to be. Todd Walker, Scott Williamson, Greg Vaughn in that old-school Tampa Bay hat. We've got Luis Castillo and Tony Clark, who's now, what, the president of the Players Union, Lieberthal. Um, we've got Robin Ventura, Nephi Perez, Russ Ortiz, Jeremy Burnitz, Rusty Greer, really liked him. He made a great catch in the Kenny Rogers perfect game. Bobby Agbreu, Michael J. Sweeney, one of my favorite players for the Kansas City Royals. Joe Nathan, who was a big-time closer there for a while. Kerry Wood has still a pretty solid following. And then El Duque, Orlando Hernandez. Holy cow, that was a lot of old-school Bowman. And then here we have some more Bowman, Randy Johnson. This is from 2004, it appears. We got the big unit, Delman Young, Ricky Weeks. Delman Young was a big baseball collector, card collector. Didn't he have like an insane collection there for a while? Joe Maurer was really good. Bobby Jinx um, was a good closer. Sizemore, obviously people are familiar with him. Chris Lebanski, he was on the Royals, never really panned out. David R. Ardsma, the first in the alphabet, alphabetically. Irvin Santana is somehow still back on the Royals. I don't know. He's still hanging around. And the Royals signed him to a minor league contract, and then he made their roster. He's actually on their roster right now. Uh, some of these other guys, Omar Quintanilla, he played a little bit, I think, with Colorado. Kevin Howard, don't know him. Calvin Hayes, nope. Wandel Severino. Look at these names, guys. They never really amounted to much. Some of these dudes. David Murphy, he had a nice career with Texas. Um... Wow, there's a Baltimore Oriole, or excuse me, Montreal Expos card. Don't really see many of those anymore. A lot of these guys did not amount to much, but that is the way it goes with Bowman. And you can see how Bowman can be very hit or miss. And these were obviously a lot of misses. Brooks Conrad, I remember him a little bit as well. So that grab bag was all Bowman. Looks like he was just getting rid of some of his inventory, which that's sometimes what you expect when you get a $1 grab bag. Let's see if grab bag number two is any different. Grab bag number two. Oh, now we got a little bit more modern. I see a bunch of Donruss in here. In fact, this may all be Donruss from 2020. I'll go ahead. Oh, no, we got some Series 1 there. I'm going to go ahead and go through these fairly quickly because I'm sure all of you are really familiar with Donruss and its release. This is last year. Um, and so, you know, Donruss doesn't always carry the same value is tops just without the logos we got some nice players in here walker bueller obviously bogarts giolito through the no hitter last year so you get a lot of john means through the no hitter this year you get a lot of good players but donners just doesn't hold the value especially these base cards um are a lot of times what you'll see in in some of these you know grab bags and and big lots of cards just because um there's just not as much value in the hobby for Donruss or Panini products, even though in basketball that's the way to go and in football. But 
with uh, out the licensing, they just really struggle to uh, to hold their own. And obviously, I know there's some like short prints, and I don't want to say short prints, but variations here. Burt Blylevin, Jim Rice. We got some old school Hall of Famers right here. These cards are pretty neat. Dale Murphy. Um, you've got um, like these that were upside down that have the black baseball or like the variations or the Hall of Fame short prints or yes, these are rookies. And so those are maybe a little bit more uh, desirable, but not too much. And here we got some Series 1 cards. Matt Olson, who I am a big fan of. We got some other guys. There's Jacob DeGrom, who just went on the injured list. Hopefully he'll be all right because he's been insanely good again this year. Devers for the Red Sox. Gonsolin, I'm looking for him to be pretty good to step up and maybe fill that spot in the rotation that uh, uh, is going to be abandoned now that Dustin May is going to have Tommy John surgery. So there's a future star of Jose, or, or not, not Jose Urquidy, but of uh, Aristides Aquino. Although we did see Urquidy in there as well. Miguel Rojas, we got these landscape cards, which are always so fun <laughs> to try to flip and flop with. Shoemaker for Toronto. There's Arietta and Scherzer. Kevin Gaussman's been really good, and then we'll finish it off with just a little bit more Donruss. And the Pique, probably there for nickname variation for Cattell Marte. Nickname variation, El Mago, the Magician, for Javi Baez. Shohei Otani um, for LA. We got Trey Turner. Yelly, the nickname vari variation, Abreg. And then Max Scherzer. This is the District of Champions variation on the back. You can see it doesn't say Washington. It says District of Champions. Same thing with the Trey Turner. So these that have the red baseball were the short, or variations, I guess. They're not really short prints, but variations. And this is just like the base card there of Josh Bell. So there you have it, guys. That was a quick little video. Finishing in about seven minutes. The $1 grab bags are always kind of just a flip of the coin. This time, um, not maybe the most scintillating cards, but hey, you kind of have to expect that going in when you get a grab bag. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you in another one. Be good out there.